Lower Sulphur River Basin has several initiatives to address. These include the decline of habitat within the Sulphur River Wildlife Management Area, riverbank erosion along the Lower Sulphur River, and log jams forming on the Red River near the confluence of the Sulphur River with the Red River. We will highlight examples of these three and show that there are needs to be addressed. These are the usual conditions for Mercer's Bio. Much algae, grass, and weeds grow into the channel and choke out the aquatic habitat. This is the upper control structure for Mercer's Bio, and these are the usual conditions that are found here. This is the same structure during the floods of January 2016, where the Sulphur River was backed over into Mercer's Bio. And as you can see, the same weeds, grasses, and algaes have been washed away. This is the usual condition of the main channel of Mercer's Bio. This is the condition of Mercer's Bio after the floods of January 2016. These are the usual conditions of the western boat ramp of Mercer's Bio. And here we can see the conditions of the same boat lane after the floods of January 2016. Soon after the flood waters receded, there was an algae bloom, oxygen was depleted, and there was a huge fish die-off. Soon after large releases of water from Lake Wright Patman, we start to see huge soil erosion events along the riverbanks of the Sulphur River. This is a Google Earth view of this same location. The first picture from June of 2013, the second picture from January 2015, just a year and a half later.
These last videos show logs along the banks of the Red River near the confluence with the Sulphur River.